Andrés Manuel López Obrador has made three attempts at the presidency of Mexico, this time with the coalition Juntos Daremos Historia, which is a coalition, the Morena, Labor, and Social Encounter parties. This time we're going all the way to the presidential palace. I think so because people want a real change. In the year 2000, El Peje, as he is also known, was elected to the government of Mexico City. Four years later, he had to defend himself in a legal process that was opened up over his refusal to expropriate a venue located in the eastern part of the city. I am certain that I'm not being judged for violating the law, but for my way of thinking and acting, and what that could represent for the future of this country. With strong popular support, he participated in the presidential elections in 2006, but he didn't make it to Los Pinos. Thousands took the Zócalo and the streets of the capital to demand a recount of the votes. This was one of the most questioned elections in the history of Mexico. He has traveled all over Mexico. One of his key policies has been the defense of the country's natural resources. This is why he led the movement against the privatization of the oil industry. The plundering of oil will create an environment of discontent. After losing the 2012 elections, he starts the national regeneration political movement, Morena. All the people are with him. Poor people first has been the permanent slogan of the man, born in Tabasco 65 years ago. We are going to help the poor more than any other. I'm not hiding it for the common good, but the poor come first, but also the middle class. In the electoral campaign of 2018, his proposals focusing on social issues have a marked difference compared to his contenders. The conservative Ricardo Anaya and ruling party candidate Jose Antonio Meade, who wants to continue with a neoliberal model. What we are seeing is a similar proposal, in tune with the privileged class in Mexico. López Obrador is also proposing a different model to counter the violence that affects the country, and it has led to 250,000 murders according to non-governmental organizations. Organization. We have to restore our society, rebuild families, schools, social organizations, unions, and the government. López Obrador has promised to fight corruption and revise all the contracts that the current government has signed with the private sector, especially in the areas of energy and the construction of Mexico City's new airport. Since the beginning of the electoral process, the favorite candidate across all polls has faced constant opposition from big businesses, and many here in Mexico see that as a good thing.